Hello, everybody. Welcome to Magical Monday. I hope everybody's doing good out there. In 3D world, uh, I got some great cards that come out. We've got some great messages that are coming through, and we're going to get right into it. It's been a long week, and uh, it's going to get longer. So, the first card we got... was the 11 of fire, masculine and feminine. And we've been going over that a lot. They've been coming out a lot. Put aside gender stereotypes. We are both masculine and feminine. Masculine energy serves to protect and feminine energy serves to nurture. Too much of one, not enough of the other. Time to evaluate and realign. Allow the energy to increase and Eve embrace the energy that best suits your needs. We have been talking about the masculine and feminine for a while now. It's been coming up on a lot of the cards. And we know that we have to balance those. Because if we have too much of either or, then that can be a problem in our life. So that is coming and telling us, please pay attention to the, fa the fact that you have to balance the feminine and masculine. So if you're too cranky, that could be a masculine trait, trying to protect everyone, or you're too crying and, and nurturing too much, then that's too much feminine, too much masculine, and we balance it out. So the next card with that, the complimenting, complimentary card was the Ace of Wands. Um, that's growth. And we know that uh, step into our, your power invent, talk, create, whatever you say now will be well received. So if we balance ourselves with the masculine and feminine, we have the growth. The inner growth too is also what we need to work on. Um, most of these cards that have been coming up for us are pretty much reassuring the things that we're learning and the things that we're doing. And we did get the three of air. And this is a uh, study and guides and teachers and comprehension. Don't kill the messenger, expand your mind. We know that the three of air uh, symbolizes the important, importance of study. And we've already been talking about, we've been going through earth school. We have been absorbing all of that. And we are trying to go into the mystery school, which is the ancient knowledge that we never knew didn't look into and had no clue. So now it's time for us to get a clue. And this is telling us with the three of air. Absorb what is coming in and take into your intuition on what's real and what's not real when it is coming in, because there's a lot of stuff that's not, it's an illusion and we know that. Uh, the next one we got was the 10, the wheel of fortune, destiny. The wheel is not so much as a doing card as a receiving card. So enjoy and appreciate the good fortune that comes to you now. Go with the flow. Um, we have to look back at what we've been doing. And if we have any triggers or any problems and we still have some things that we have to work on, we have to look at that. Because now is the time to kind of realign and rethink and we did get the sixth of, six of water and she is the ideal of kindness and compassion see all that is good and pure in humanity strive to be better embrace healthy boundaries she is the optimum of kindness and concern she represents all that is good and pure within humanity an idea that many strive to meet she is kind but not to a fault she displays concern and care but does so with a level of emotional detachment. Um, we have to go in and we can have that emotional attachment, but we have to be careful because we can't get too attached where we get so emotional that we just give in to everything. We don't want to do that. That's that's not a good place to be. Um, we also got the ten, was it the ten? Yeah, it was the king of swords, another ten. The wheel was ten, the king was a ten, uh, the eleven of fire was a master number. Yeah, we got a lot of tens. Uh, King of Swords, Ambition. 
look to the facts before you make a decision. We've all been talking about uh, looking from the eagle's eye, going above, and getting the perception on a different perception on things. Was that lightning? Yeah. Okay. I just seen my husband's back there going, that's amazing. I just seen lightning flash. We have a really bad storm coming down here. And I noticed the weather and I was going to say something to everybody. I noticed the weather going right through, I mean, the whole United States. They have been doing, you know, a lot of stuff, spraying little planes, all kinds of stuff in here. Right now, I want us all to work on manifesting these storms to just kind of glide over everybody and protect everybody. We need to try to do this manifestation of a protection bubble for everybody in this weather and what's going on. Let's do that for the next couple of days because tomorrow we're supposed to get some bad storms like tornado winds, 70 mile an hour. That's what they're calling for. They've closed the schools. They've closed the area. Um, I have seen it. The people are getting snowstorms. They're talking about electric going out in the north. So we really need to uh, manifest this, this protection bubble around all of us, everybody. Okay. So uh, the last card that we got was the six of fire and we did get a lot of fire and this is a resolution in need communication and diplomacy is required be willing to make conscious let go of bias be open-minded two sides of every disagreement know the facts the six represents a time of healing through meditation mediation negotiation and arbitration and it is a time when communication and dipl diplomacy is required in order to end a conflict or dispute there are times in our lives when we may find ourselves caught up in a dispute or conflict about boundaries have been crossed or our feelings hurt or ego bruised. You know, the last few days we've been getting a lot of boundary cards and we do have to set boundaries. I mean, we have to look at what just happened in our world when something goes crazy and look at what just happened and how it happened. And even if we don't know what happened, and we know that we're not at fault, we have to just go on. We just can't play the harp on that and worry about it because it's just not worth it. People are just doing strange things out there right now. <laughs> Nobody can explain what's going on. Um, we got the King of Pentacles trust on that one. And protect what is yours while helping those on their way up the ladder. Enjoy the rewards that success brings. The king reveals a man who is ambitious, tr trustworthy, and protective. When he commits to a project or relationship, he is a loyal to the last. He can be a powerful business owner or a leader. He is a hands-on with attitude, as maybe a you card. In a reading, he represents generosity and love. What you gain, you share with the people who are important to you. Yeah, I completely agree with that. That's that's a really good message for us uh, with the Oracle and the Tarot cards. Now, we did get a couple cards with the practical magic. You know, I thought coffee and cards tonight on Magical Monday was perfect. So, we got the Honor Your Grief. My lost love, a number 22, which is another master number. Losing a loved one or a part of yourself or your future will fundamentally change you. But eventually there will be healing, rebirth and hope for a way forward. Grief is heartbreaking and all consuming. It can feel as though it will choke you, drown you or burn you to ashes. The sorrow is intense, personal, and can seem as though it will never end. Grief never ends, but it will change. Over time, it will become a place where you go, but can return from. You don't get over the pain of grief, and you probably don't want to, but you can grow a new life, a new self. Around that, what is left, around the loss, grief is the price of deep and immense love, and so the anguish is worth worth it because it shows just how strong and precious the love was, how deeply you love and were loved. And the memory of that love will help you to survive the pain of the law of its loss. 
The raw and jagged wound of grief will start to heal with time, but the scars will remain, and that's a good thing. They are a badge of belonging and honor of what you felt and did and became. Your loss will be a part of who you are, and so the person you lost will always be with you. I completely agree. I think that is a beautiful message. When you draw this card, it's a message to be aware of something you are grieving. Perhaps it's the anniversary of the death of someone close to you, or their loss is hitting you particularly hard today. Maybe your relationship has ended or you realize that something you desperately wanted will never come to pass. An opportunity may be lost or your faith in something or someone may have been destroyed. This card is also a gentle reminder to reach out to others when you are suffering loss, change, pain, or loneliness. There are people who want to help you, but many don't know what to say or how to approach you. Tell them what you need, ask for support, suggest some practical ways they can contribute, allow them to share your burden, lean on them, and offer your own compassion to others. It can be difficult to know how to act around someone who's grieving. Some people withdraw all altogether because they feel inadequate and their scars, they're so deep. Yeah, I really believe that and I, I have seen some people that do that. They just totally withdraw. And you know, I, I'm preparing to. My my parents are both old and, and I'm preparing trying to prepare. I don't think we ever I was talking to some friends last night. I don't think we can ever prepare for that. Uh for any kind of really close loss, like a parent or a child or a brother, sister, someone you real grandparent, someone you really, really loved or a spouse, you know. That is a hard card. Uh, the next card that we got was number, another 10. Inner Wisdom Stardust Soul. She's awesome. She's got an owl flying. It looks like lightning and, and just storm-like energy all around her. She's pretty cool. Connect with your inner priestess or priest to reveal your heart's truth and the understanding and awareness that is already part of you. Within every person, there are all the emotions they've ever felt, all the lessons they've learned, and a well of knowledge born of experience and interaction. Yet it's easy to overlook, disregard doubt, and to give more weight to other people, people's opinions, and what they think is best for you. Instead, quiet your mind, listen for the small voice inside, and give it the space and attention to grow and blossom. There is a stillness, effort to reconnect with it and value it. To active this knowing, activate this knowing and discovering your deepest truths. Fortunately, this wisdom and intuition is like a muscle. The more you use it, the more you know your knowledge, your inner guidance, and the stronger you will be emotionally and the more able to access this information every time you need it. This card indicates that you already know the answer to your question. You just have to look inside, get in touch with your inner truths and start to trust your knowing. In this situation, you can take a break from mentors, courses, and other experts. Your own intuition is developing and so much of what you need to understand about the solution is already with you, within you. This is not to disparage outside wisdom or discourage you from obtaining and working with it. External guidance is absolutely vital, and there are many situations where seeking an outside voice or working with a teacher, coach, or professional is powerful and life-affirming. It can break you out of your rut and inspire learning and growth, but there is also great strength in cultivating and relying on yourself in your own knowing, and in the situation at hand, you will benefit from looking for the solution within. Connecting with your inner priestess or priest involves self-reflection, introspective introspection, emotional honesty, and deep courage as you explore yourself. Secrets will be stripped bare, emerging from the shadows, so be ready to face them and interrogate them. Let go of what no longer serves you, guilt, shame, doubt, other people's opinions of you, old belief systems, and embrace your fearlessness. Step into your full power. The answer you seek is within. 
So connect with your inner wisdom and it will be revealed, floating up from the ocean of knowledge that is your brain and experience and emerging from the swirl of insight that is in your heart and emotions. I've been saying that for a while. It's that gut feeling, that throat punch where it hurts right there in your heart and goes down right there into your chest. That is your heart space, inner tuition, gut feeling, intuition, and that is what you really should listen to. Forget the outside, whatever, pay attention a little bit, you know, be the observer, but use that gut intuition because that's the most important. Now, we got the angels and ancestors and we got the peacekeeper. A harmonious resolution is possible. And I really think it is. This is the white buffalo. She is with the Indian woman and she has the peace pipe. Choose peace. Conflicts are coming to an end. You deserve to experience happiness and contentment. The peacekeeper card portrays a Lakota First Nations woman honoring the Lakota deity, white buffalo calf woman, who brought the sacred pipe to the people. This pipe, which she holds in her hand, is a symbol of peace, emblematic of surrendering the need to fight and offering harmony instead. The peacekeeper is a soul who knows what it's like to feel under threat and stand up for what she believes in and what is right. Her medicine helps you to take the higher road in every situation. Even if you're under pressure to make a quick decision, it is a reminder that within your hands lies the power to make the right choice for all involved. You may be feeling on edge due to a stressful situation. There's a warrior within you <clears throat> that wants to rise up, prove your point, and get the truth across, but you're being reminded by ancestor wisdom that truth will always be revealed to in the end. It's more important at this time to avoid arguments and heated discussions where you know you'll be fighting a losing battle. There is much more power in choosing to move forward from a higher perspective. This will allow you to connect deeply to the guidance within and the intuition that will lead you towards the healing of the whole situation. Along with any wounds it may have inflicted on you, choose peace and know it's calling you. I completely agree. We've had enough uh, conflict and chaos in our lifetime in this world to last forever. I know a lot of people are very, very, very sick of it. Now, we got one soul helper oracle at number 21, which is a three. That's the divine. Recognize despair as an opportunity. Within, within it, you will find the gift of awakening. And, you know, in this card, she's in the shadows. She's got the light coming through the window in front of her, but she's looking back. And she's remembering. And she needs to look back a little bit. But... She needs to go to the light through the window and go forward instead of looking back so much. Hidden in the darkness of the night in the great depths of despair and desperation lies the gift of awakening. Do not pass judgment on it or denounce it as a bad or dreadful moment in your life. Instead, use this time with all its darkness as a spur to action. Make use of every low in your life to create a new beginning. Powerful emotions contain the most powerful magic. Use them for celebration. Commit yourself to them and develop from them innermost strength, a great light and inner supernova. Use this transformation power to create something you desire, something new or even bold or daring. These times are perfect for creating a new wonderful future. See them as a chance to raise yourself up and grow. Beyond yourself and your lower self, unhappiness will not devour or destroy you. It will take you to higher dimensions. This card leads to one of your darkest places. Remember it. Or you might be in the middle of such a place right now. It is painful, of course, but this pain comes to you as a friend. It will make you wiser, more awake, more aware. Learn from it. 
Do not neglect this opportunity to recognize something great that lies hidden behind all the despair of drama. Your helpers for the next 21 days is the power animals, the leopard, the herbal essence is the elmi, the healing crystal is green jade, and the number is three. Let's see what three has to say. Three indicates that now is a good time to take care of your soul families, both in this world and in others. Make contact and tell them that you love and need them. They will hear you. You will find strength, healing, and answers among those closely connected to you. This number teaches you to look at every everything, to become an observer, and wisdom will come. Number three's energy field brings about diversity, creativity, creative energy, the over, overcoming of duality, and understanding and seeing the world of the divine. Yes, number three is the divine. Um, we have the divine running through us, right in our heart space, if we just look. You know, I, I mentioned something last night to a lady that is religious, and I have nothing against religion. I love God. Um, people, some call him source. I, you know, I've always called him God. I like source. I like father. I like father better than all of them. But uh, I asked her, I said, you know, everybody's praying so hard, saying so much. And then they say, amen. And they walk away. When are they listening to what he had to say back to her? They're not. She got quiet. Um, I think she thought about it. it. It's something that you need to think about. Because if I'm talking to the Father and Mother Earth, and, and I'm talking to them, and in my mind, they know what I'm going to say to them. They, they know. They already feel the energy from me. So I just listen. I, I don't talk anymore. I used to talk. I used to pray. I used to talk out loud. I used to talk about all that. But I never listened. Listen, listen, hear, hear. We just had a, a card the other day about that. And I really think that that's very important in our now time to wake up because we're going to hear the messages that our creator, God, source, father, is, and mother is going to tell us if we quiet our mind a little. Uh, we got, you know, yesterday we got an eagle. And it says so it was soar above the perceptive and look again. And we got the eagle today, embrace spirit. And that to me, the eagle getting eagle twice is telling me that we are coming out of this chaotic chaos. And I'm hoping we need to do that too. That's another one we need to manifest that this country comes around to its senses, that we they give us our freedom back that we need to take back, that they need to give us back. You are a spiritual being living a physical life. Embrace spirit in your journey and reaffirm your connection with the divine. Fly to the heavens, but remember to look down and see that the divine exits exists in the magical, natural world beneath you. Spirit dwells within all, in everything you see and know, and everything that you do not see and which is unknown. Both the creative and the destructive the beautiful and the ugly are born of the divine. Everything is created by the divine. I mean, we made it ugly. Yeah. I mean, we made it beautiful. Some of us did. Some of us didn't. And now we need to make it our garden of Eden, our world that we want to live in, that everybody wants to live in. I keep saying it's our time to shine. <clears throat> We need to change our perspective and our and learn from the mistakes that we've made in the past. Focus and then act. She is beautiful. She's got a black horse in the moonlight, and her sword is glowing with uh, energy. Focus and then and then act. There is something you want or need to make manifest, but to make your dreams a reality, you must focus your will upon that desire and do what needs to be done. Prayer alone will not give you that which you desire. There are things that you must do in order to have your hopes relist. Re 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 now is not the time for stillness or passive. Now is the time to focus your will, your thoughts and emotions, and to get up and take the necessary steps. 
Uh, yeah, it's telling us that uh, we need to do some manifestation and we need to do some work and we need to do some action. We, we have action Jackson card there. She's got her sword, man. She's ready. Um, the card that we got from the gateway of light activation is the Akashic Records. Clearing old stories, releasing past lives, freedom. The Akashic is a Sanskrit word that means ether or ether. Oh, excuse me. Oh, Akashic is a Sanskrit word that means ether or sky base. And as explained above, the Akashic records are a condomum of universal events, experiences, and lifetimes held in the spiritual realms. One of the founders of the Theosophy described them as an indestructible tablets of the astral light. We can visit the Akashic records in dreams, visions, and meditations. When we are transported or guided to connect with them, we are being given the opportunity to take an inventory of our life and all the events that have taken place in it and to gain information on lifetimes past. When you draw this card, the universe is releasing you from past experiences these can be soul-based memories fears from previous lifetimes or old aspects of this current lifetime that you have moved on from know that this is the time to reclaim your freedom and rewrite your story you can do this by follow following through on your dreams gone are the days of fear-based indecisions this is the time to rise up and claim the truth if you are sitting on a dream or are feeling called to move in a particular direction, it's because you have unearthed an important soul lesson. And it is essential for you to follow the call to clear unwanted energies of your past. As you do so, don't allow yourself to pull into expecting the worst possible outcome. Know that this expectation is not your truth, but old energies being released from your energy body call in angels to shine their light on any repressed fears energies or stories that are no longer serving you it's time to fly high in freedom i love that card and i i really believe that i have done a lot of dream journey and i can say that i have i had i've visited a lot of stuff in my dreams and it's a lot of fun now we got uh, the Divine Master. Lady, did I? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. I thought I missed a, a book over here. I got so many cards. We got Lady Portia. Overcoming limitations, karmic release, let go of the need to be right. Lady Portia name means doorway, and she is the spiritual embodiment of justice. As the twin flame of St. Germain and one of the keepers of the violet flame, a divine energy that can be invoked to aid transformation, she is working closely with light workers to help them overcome low vibrational energy and bust through any blockages that are stopping them from doing their great work. In her many incarnations upon earth, Lady Portia often found herself in positions where she was a voice of justice and balance. Now she can help us uncover past karma and understand the patterns we may be experiencing now in order to unlock lessons and overcome setbacks. Her presence is powerful yet angelic. You are being guided to let go of the need to be right or to prove your point. If you are in a heavy emotional or challenging situation right now, there's a good chance that your ego is encouraging you to make decisions that are working against your growth rather than supporting you in being the light that you were born to be. If you are falling into old limitations, old ways, or being, then the only person who is going to be stuck is you, and the universe wants you to be free. It may be hard to hear, but it's time to... Write your own wrongs in order to be energetically clear. That was a good message. I think that we do need to clear our energies. I'm pretty sure that was the end of the card. Um, I think that now is the time to release. Oh, there is more. 
all that old baggage. You have the opportunity to make up for past injustices. To do this, you have to be honest and see the parts of yourself that you're avoiding in the past. This will enable you to be supported, guided, and abundant in the future. Um, that's a great message. Now, we got Melchizedek, divine knowledge, higher learning, commit to your visions through study. Meltkovich, whose name means king of righteousness, is the first high priestess mentioned in the Bible, the one who initiated all the heart teachers who came after him. He is mentioned in several Arab, Arab, Arab Matic texts, including the Dead Sea Scrolls and also the Quablestic text of Zahar. And these words are like tongue twisters. He is an ancient gatekeeper of light who is dedicated to helping all those walking the spiritual path take the initiatory step to align with the light. He is the leader of a spiritual group called the Order of Malsedek, a divine order of light beings, angels, and masters, including Archangel Michael and Jesus, who work in congregation to bring light and energy to the world. These beings are the keepers of Christ light and Holy Spirit energy. You are being encouraged to dive into spiritual study. Don't skim the surface, go deep, for there is important information out there that will support you in taking your path and skills to the next level. There's a good chance that you may want to get out there with what you know, but the universe wants you to study a little more before taking a leap into the unknown. When you study, you demonstrate how committed you are to the spiritual path. And when you are committed, the universe will present you with opportunities that will take you further along the path and towards a feeling of fulfillment and purpose. If you're intended, intending to work in a particular field, ask yourself if there is anything you need to read up on or study first. If so, or if something springs in mind, take note as this is your next step. That's a great message. I think all of these messages were really great tonight. Now, I did do some channeled messages. Um, the 11s that we got, we had four 11s, and I've been seeing 11-11 all the time. That is focus on goals, dreams, and higher purposes. You are on the right path towards aligning with the divine flow of abundance and the purposeful life. Uh, also, we got the 1010. We had a lot of 1010s. That is a new beginning, spiritual growth, and a divine connection. That is a nudge encouraging you to step into a new phase of your life. Now, we have been, I'm pretty sure, jumping in and out of timelines. I will know more in a few days, but I'm thinking that a timeline shift happened uh, on the 6th. Now, I know that the uh, energy was blank um, on the Schumann residence. It was blacked out, and some things happened that day that I can't explain. But in a few days, I might know more. So I'll see what's happening, but pay attention because I'm thinking that these, and you know, I've been really thinking about this timeline shift stuff. Um, I'm thinking that these timelines are coinciding together because the way I'm looking at it is when I have astral travel dreams, some of them are actually real where I'm floating around my, my vicinity where I am and see things that, that day, that night or whatever. But then there's other dreams that I'm having where I'm seeing people in my dreams and then I'm meeting them in reality, like a year or two later or even less. So am I am I seeing uh past events that have already happened for my future? Or because when I visited the astral realm one time and I asked my higher self, was this the past or the future? They told me it was the past. So if I am seeing past things in my dreams then they've are they're they're happening now i don't think they were happening back then i i don't know i i'm kind of foggy on that situation right now 
but I think I'm going to try to do some meditation and ask some questions about that. So um, I'm glad I was able to come on. I might not be able to come on tomorrow. It all depends on how bad our weather is. We lose, we have a satellite di uh, dish for uh, internet and we lose it when there's a raindrop. <laughs> So I might not be able to get on tomorrow because of the weather, but I want you to manifest good weather for everybody. We have some really strange, bad weather coming everywhere, northern, southern. Uh, we need to do some manifest. We need to practice some manifesting. We're, we're ready. We're all ready. And there's there's hundreds of us. There's thousands of us. So I think we all need to start practicing. And tonight. And tomorrow for the weather and next week, it's a good time to do a week's worth of ma manifestation. The bubble around everybody for protection against this weather. That would be great. I love you all and make every step in your journey be magical. I hope you have a beautiful, magical Monday and just be you.